remember here you have to take a precaution here don't move this cross uh, this circular scale very fast you have to rotate in very simpler manner and very slowly if you move this in faster way you you will observe the backlash error any one ring can skip so it is not allowed and the reading will be wrong so you have to move this circular scale very slowly slowly from fifth to sixth ring six to seven and now it is set on the fifth ring on right hand side and again we can take the reading when the zero is matches with the main scale value that is here 39 39 is main scale reading and uh, zero is matching with uh, second division so 39 is main scale reading and second is the circular scale reading so we have to multiply the least count to the circular scale reading that is 2 into 0.01 then we have to add this to the main scale reading that is 39 so we have the 39.02 mm this is our reading of fifth ring on the right hand side now we'll take the reading of sixth ring on right hand side by rotating it in a anti clockwise now it is set on the sixth ring again in the similar way we will take the reading of main scale and on circular scale okay and we will take the reading from 6 to 14th ring so i think it is clear to all of you that uh, how the rings we are taking the reading so on the left hand side we have the readings 10 readings from 5th ring to 14th ring and on the right hand side also we have the uh, readings from 5th to 14th ring okay so now we can see the table so what is the formula used here here we are calculating the radius of curvature of a plano convex lens with the formula d square n plus p minus d n square 4 p lambda by 4 p lambda so r is radius of curvature n is number of the ring from 5th to 14th which we have calculated in the in this experiment p is some constant took for the calculation and the lambda is the wavelength of light used that is 5890 angstrom this is the observation table on so the first this portion this left hand region shows the number of the rings from 5th to 14 one portion which shows the microscope reading left hand and the right hand side reading in left hand side column you can see msr CSR and total reading. MSR is our main scale reading, and CSR is our circular scale reading, and total reading, which we have calculated with the help of least count. Least count is multiplied in the CSR, and the addition of MSR plus CSR will give you the total reading. So least count is point zero one mm. so the reading of left hand side reading uh, all the left hand side readings are here and right hand side reading is also so how to calculate the diameter of the ring we have used the left hand side reading and right hand side reading we have taken fifth ring value on left hand side and fifth ring's value on the right hand side when we will subtract these two values subtract the total of these two values will give you the diameter of the ring you can see here we have the diameter that is 3.65 for fifth ring so l minus r will give you the diameter of ring 